Uh, but I'll give you one more story that shows why I think it's important that we get this history right. Um, so this is also from the pension records. In 1773, Samuel Noel was a 29-year-old ship carpenter or boat builder uh, who lived in both Boston and Newburyport. And in 1831, he was living in Wolfboro, New Hampshire, and here's what he wrote to Congress. I was one of those who periled themselves in that celebrated achievement, the destruction of a cargo of tea in the harbor of Boston. I was then young, enterprising, and courageous, and I presume my broad axe was never more dexterously used than when I was staving the chests and throwing them overboard. Your petitioner, right, he's speaking in court language, your petitioner, by which he means himself, uh, views the destruction of said tea as the principal initiative scene which preceded and powerfully influenced and produced that civil rupture between Great Britain and her then American colonies, which has resulted in the independence of the United States and its unprecedented consequences. So Noel then goes on to tell the most amazing war story ever. He, uh, he escaped from occupied Boston. He served aboard two privateers. He was captured at sea. He was imprisoned for 16 months in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and spent three months in shackles as punishment for attempting to escape. He, uh, he suffered from yellow fever and then recovered. Um, and then while he and his fellow prisoners were being transported from Halifax to New York City, which was occupied by the British, he helped lead a mutiny when a storm separated his ship from the rest of the convoy, and the American mutineers then took over the boat and, uh, and led it to Marblehead, uh, where, they all, uh, where, where they were then all safe. So he tells this incredible story um, where the Tea Party was just the beginning of it. Uh, and now he's, so now when he's telling the story, he's 86 years old and no longer able to work. He says, he has no means whatever to subsist, but is wholly dependent on the bounty of his friends for his daily support. At the time that he, this is still his words, at the time he was thus actively and zealously jeopardizing himself for his country, he was happy, his country miserable. He was happy in the conscious discharge of a duty paramount to all others. But now, he said, the scene is reversed. His country is rich and happy. He is poor and miserable. Uh, and I think we owe it to Samuel Noel, to Joshua Wyeth, and to the rest of the Tea Party participants, which includes at least the following members, original members of the Society of the Cincinnati, Ebenezer Stevens, Samuel Cooper, John Crane, Alicia Horton, and Lemuel Trescott. I think we owe it to all of the, the people who participated in the Tea Party and the people who helped them uh, to make sure that we know the true history of the Boston Tea Party and get that story right. So I'm happy to answer questions, sign books, whatever, uh, whatever you want. Um, and I hope, and again, thank you very much for this honor, which I really appreciate. <laughs>